we are at Levikothar me actually we can say on the bed of alpine mountains yes it's so good and uh, i must say that i also should get an office somewhere nearby you know <laughs> so, so i was just uh, writing that you know i travel uh, across the world but uh, it never inspires me to go and see mountains and go as a tourist but yes if there is a story i will just go but this is kind of a blessing yeah it is two in one two <laughs> it is two in one so this is the place where blm group uh one of the leading global manufacturer of laser solutions especially in the tube cutting tube bending and they are into a lot of uh, solutions i am having with me vinayak joshi being an indian he always wanted to take the blm's advanced technologies to the indian manufacturing so that they can grow they can you know be uh, there is an opportunity for them to go to the next level just to start what is it blm group if we can just give us you know when it started and what are the kind of solutions blm group is uh, uh, you know offering uh, uh, blm group is uh, made of three companies and uh, they are manufacturing different solutions for processing tubes so basically i describe the products which can convert a piece of tube into a tubular component so we have laser tube cutting machines we have tube bending machines and since we manufacture tube bending machines we also manufacture wire bending machines because that is another sector of industry which requires bending we manufacture uh, end forming machines for tubes uh, then we manufacture automated sawing machines for cut to length applications for tubes and solid bars uh, ob- obviously laser tube cutting machines for straight tubes and bent tubes because Uh, some of the cutting you cannot do before bending for example if you have hole on the bend area then you cannot do it before bending it has to be done after bending so we have multiple solutions for cutting tubes after bending now when we talk about tubes uh, uh, laser tube cutting machines almost all our machines are capable of cutting round square rectangular tubes open profile special profile c channels l channels i beams depending upon the size of the tube our smallest machine can cut up to 120 mm diameter of tube and the biggest machine which is uh, just behind me here can cut up to 600 mm dia tube so the biggest machine those are used mainly in infrastructure project tubular constructions you may see just one tubular structure behind us that green structure it is part of uh, a roof uh, which is actually used in one of our factories here so we are a 60 more than 60 year old company it is totally family owned and still it is family owned and uh, our focus is technology innovation new solutions our biggest teachers are our customers they come to us with uh, some proposals that uh, we need to do this and how to do this and we then take that input and uh, develop some new solutions either in the software or in the hardware or even developing new features on the machine so a lot of it is uh, driven by customer feedback we we listen to our customers a lot yes so during this uh, innova their open house for two weeks there was there were around 1600 uh, visitors from 700 companies and yeah. this is something which we never heard about you know people coming for an open house this much and uh, you also launched a new machine that time so it is a kind of one of the biggest uh, events uh, you do uh, at plm group we organize this open house every two years and uh, there are two purposes there i mean we present some new solutions over there but it's also an opportunity for customers to visit our plant and uh, visit uh, the locations interact with uh, technical team uh, development team or after sales service team i mean when existing customers they come here for the open house they meet all these people with whom they probably have interacted in the past by telephone or by emails etc this is an opportunity to meet them and have some personal contact also and it is our way also to thank those customers for different feedback that they give us i mean um, a lot of new customers come of course they see the new machines and they sometimes finalize their orders in the open house but uh, that is not the principal objective of that event i mean of course the 
business is business. We need to sell, otherwise we won't be able to carry further. Uh, but it is an opportunity for us to meet customers. And what happens, uh, we can do the same thing in an exhibition. But exhibition, people, uh, the customers, they are interested in visiting the exhibition. So they would come, stop by our stall, see the new thing, but won't go into details. Here, we have ample time to do that. Seeing is believing. Yeah. I believe why I especially ask this, the kind of solutions, uh, what you have kept eventually, I have seen table tennis track there. I also seen that uh, football. Fusma, yeah, football. Yeah. Football, yeah. So, these are the uh, business opportunities also where a fabricator can level up to the next level, you know, he can have a, now, talk about that dust bits. Yeah. The, the two dustbins. I think that the that is what I am talking about or you are talking about the opportunity what we can give. I think with a machine, they can make at least uh, 500, 600 such uh, dustbin in a day. Yeah, but uh, sometimes people say that, oh, I don't need to make them. So why should I invest in technology? But I think probably they should look beyond their noses and see the opportunities that world is trying to offer to India in terms of uh, manufacturing hub. Again, and that's what I want to ask you, Vinayak sir, because I see you often, you are part of the Italian Technology Center, so you come for their events. I see you in many exhibitions. Even you were there in Intex Forming. And uh, do you think the current technology, what you're offering, is it so advanced for India, as you told that, you know, we always think automation with people. But I think that is again a misconception because Automation is not to reduce people because we even automation is there, we need people. But it is about expanding our capability and do it uh, right first every time. So uh, what do you think about uh, uh, the India and technology? I think automation is seen a little bit uh, in a wrong light uh, in Indian context. Automation is not only for increasing uh, your production volume, but it is also useful in increasing your productivity and when you improve your productivity you improve your profit margins you can approach new opportunities for example a customer of ours in uh, Pune he manufactures certain um, items for automotive industry he was telling us earlier they used to take a long time to make that particular structure and now with our technology and our machine they are able to accept an order for 100 such pieces if they are to be delivered in one month they are able to do it so that has opened a lot of opportunities for them to export their products and since they started approaching the export uh, overseas market they started getting new inquiries so they developed new solutions so it's a positive feedback thing you know from one thing another thing comes up and uh, the growth happens automatically so i think um, attitude of Indian uh, industrialist is changing, no doubt about it. They are, they are not uh, stationary. But it has to go to uh, even the MSME levels and grassroots levels because sometimes people think, that, oh, these are very expensive machines. They can be afforded only by Adani, Ambani and Tata and that thing. But that is not Sir, true. Not that is not true. true. Sir, let me tell you one thing. I have seen people taking cars when there is a okay car where we can move maybe within around 10 lakhs. Now you get very good good uh, SUVs, uh, entry level SUVs for 10 lakh rupees. A lot of uh, uh, multinationals have came coming and investing in India, but people take Audi. They will go for Audis and Fortuners and... Uh, yes. So yeah. that comfortability they are getting. On the same comfortability, I think they should look at the shop floor because the Audi is not actually, the investment is not giving us profitability. It is a comfortability for our luxury, but if you invest in a machine, that machine is going to get you money. I think that thought process, as you rightly said, it is changing. Now you see what happens is, I think a lot of, uh, if you see a lot of MSME entrepreneurs, they have started from very humble uh, beginnings. So personal comfort is something everyone aspires. So I think the next generation will have all these personal comforts provided by the earlier generation. So they will now look at technology, look at technology as a status symbol and not uh, Audi car or a Fortuner uh, car as a status because they symbol. Have already they already have it. 
बिकॉज मे बी देर अर्लियर जनरेशन देर फादर वॉज गोइंग ऑन अ स्कूटर ऑन अ वेस्पा डिलीवरिंग थिंग्स फ्रॉम वन कस्टमर टू अदर सो नैचुरली देर एस्पिरेशन वॉज टू बाय अ कार and there's nothing wrong about it nothing wrong about it and that yeah. is how you grow yeah exactly and and what i am trying to coming here and seeing it's all that's what i was talking specially about you know when i heard about such a uh, opportunity is there it is about also not only coming and uh, witnessing the solutions but also the success stories what other customers have yeah. done will give a lot of ideas and i i would like to see that you know this time uh, because of some technical issues there were some indians who were interested to come but that never was possible but next time at least i expect pe- more people come here see the uh, solutions more over that also talk to other manufacturers yeah. across the globe and understand you know what are the mo- major possibilities i was coming from this couple of facilities when i was waiting there itself i have seen this you know yeah a lot of the, things <laughs> means the dustbin the steel dustbin oh this can be cut it in that because that is how it's a I business opportunity the railings what you yeah. had with that you know small small tubes uh, going inside and the kind of cutting what i have seen in your machine and it is a effortless manufacturing yeah, i always tell customers that um, please come and visit our uh, showrooms and see various solutions various samples that we put here because that will start stimulating your thought process because you know they know their business we don't know their business we know our business and we know certain solutions another important thing for um, uh, any customer whether it's an indian customer or american customer because this is a relationship between two organizations they should not be depending on one vinayak or one uh, hari or they should see what kind of organization is behind this whole effort and that helps them to say okay this is a reliable company choosing the right company, partner choosing the right partner because we are not interested in just selling one machine and uh, that's it we want to build uh, a group of happy customers who are successful using our machines and technology because then only as uh, everyone knows that i mean the first machine is sold by a salesman or bought by a customer but the next machines are sold by Uh, the quality of the machine the uh, quality of service how the machine works and how much money it makes for the customer so we have certain customers who have 30 laser cutting machines in their plant mercedes has uh, 30 laser tube cutting machines in total uh, different plants for making buses there is another customer for uh, who manufactures uh, quads they have some 28 or 29 and counting and godrej is also for all their interior business yeah, i think they have they have, they have bought one uh, tube bending machine and laser tube cutting machine so slowly indian uh, customers i hope that they will uh, start appreciating the technology and its advantages not only the technology but its its advantages and opportunities it would bring them automatically see uh, last last year and now i travel little bit too often to europe and i see the cost of products are at least 10 times more than india so the scale of economy so we can manufacture there a little bit economic and we are a, i'm i'm so proud of india being a low cost economy it's an advantage yeah. so we can manufacture there we can bring here but many times people talk about productivity issues yeah even it is low cost but if you consider the cost actually it is same like europe like whatever produced the in europe in one day in india it takes six days seven days so the mathematics is same that's yeah. it so these people say and you are also talking about productivity and profitability so now you see we also in india laser uh, solution the government have recently put adud anti dumping duty on some of the chinese products there are sometimes alternatives available for a much lesser price be it a chinese or be it any other make but when it comes to vlm you are technologically advanced so for that technology is what you are taking the price not for the metal what yeah, it is exactly. so how you will be able to make people aware about it that is the challenge i believe because i don't blame our people for taking uh, embracing technology or not the real thing is they don't they are not aware they don't know when people don't know when the maybe sometimes ignorance are there we 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 lose 
so my purpose is to transform that to tell that okay it is there is another perspective of it yeah so so what you think uh, how you can because you yourself is not a sales person you are an r and d person no i am basically an r and d person and i am helping to sell because as i said earlier that selling is an important uh, activity for any organization because if you don't sell there is no income and then then you can't develop new things that you see all around but uh, on the other hand as you are saying that the ignorance cannot be an excuse because if you are ignorant the world will take you over and go ahead so we can't say that oh we didn't know about this if you want to grow you have to find out what is available in the world and what are the advantages and what and i am convinced that every machine or every product has its place in the uh, market i mean somebody wants to do some uh, suppose 10 products an hour he has suitable machine for that somebody manufact wants to manufacture 100 products an hour he has a suitable machine for that but one has to think about what is my present and what should be my future so there we can help uh, people to see what can be their future 100 products in an hour or 1000 products in an hour yeah is the decision one should take embracing technology you want to be faster you want to be uh, quality wise uh, yeah. high end precision and you help your customer to get the yeah. best thing yeah, if you have technology then if suppose you get a an order for 1000 beds if you don't have technology you say that i can't deliver it in one month and that that kind of things happen during the covid period because hospitals required lot of beds and those were not easily available so so basically it is empowering your own manufacturing process and once it is empowered then you can take all the challenges and it is not just indian business i believe uh, today the world is looking at uh, india as a manufacturing hub if china plus one policy can be given and the only way india can uh, you know we need to be prepared yeah. is by adopting technology and uh, uh, you know bring that trust that india is having capability to produce yeah china has been investing in technology for last 25 30 years and we are seeing yeah. they are uh, they, they, leading the world yeah and it's not without investment <coughs> you don't think that it is it has come automatically no no, no. When I said actually coming here was a great opportunity for me to see things. Otherwise, I, I should never have been known the kind of capabilities, the vision what BLM Group put forward with. Thank you very much for having me here. You are welcome. And uh, I believe the kind of passion you are having for your country because last 30 years Mr. Vinayak is here in Italy and last 20 years he is working with BLM Group. and. And uh, he always used to tell that, I, I would like to take these advanced technologies for India. And that is when the management decided, okay, if you are looking at India, you go and see <laughs> that how you can develop the market. And that I believe is somewhere a blessing. But again, I think Mr. Vinayak would like to talk more about technology with people. You know, if you are having a technology challenge, talk to him. Feel free to contact me. <laughs> uh, feel, feel free to contact him. He will be so happy to uh, support you, talk to you. Sales is not a matter. That will happen if yeah, they find exactly. it as a value. But you definitely, when it comes to your heavy fabrication, especially anything to do with tube, you can... Not only tubes, I-beams, H-beams and uh, open profiles, uh, C-channels. And we are here with multiple solutions. Anything yeah. around, you know, uh, around the world, please. Laser solutions. Yeah. Get in touch with uh, uh, Vinayak Joshi as well as with BLM Group. I would like to just go again, go out of the factory. It is chilling cold, but still, I can go and look at those Alps. Thank you very much. Thanks.